right, how's it going, gang? Welcome back to another video. Tim Walsh, your Vanilla Gorilla. Today's exercise demonstration is gonna be on the barbell Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna show you the right way to do this exercise. And then, like always, I'm gonna show you two or three variations to increase the intensity so that you can work it into your programming, whether or not you're at the beginner, the intermediate, or the advanced level. Here we go. Okay, so the Romanian deadlift is an example of what's called a hip hinge exercise. So as the name implies, we're going to be looking for the hinge at the hip, neutral spine, we're gonna push the hips back. We're not thinking about bending forward, we're thinking about pushing the hips back. So the bar path should be straight up and down like a plumb line. We'll show you what that looks like from the side as well. But Chelsea, if you wanna step out into the rack. So good core activation. Chelsea's gonna break at the hips, push them back. Nice big stretch, drive the hips through. There's your full contraction. We're not looking for this over-exaggerated contraction at the top. Beautiful, bar path is straight up and down. Squeeze, give me one more of those, Chelsea. Love it. Okay, so just from the side angle, so you can see truly what the bar path looks like. Ideally, what we're gonna see Chels do is the first movement will be the hips moving backward. So she's not bending over, she's pushing her hips back. So the bar should move straight down till she's got a good stretch in the hamstring, and then she'll contract the hamstrings to bring the bar right back up, and then this is the top of the movement. None of this crazy crap as you will. Uh, no pressure, right? Okay, so strong and tall. And the first thing you're gonna see is the hips moving backward. And then the bar comes straight back up that same path. Good contraction. Bar goes straight down. Hips come through at the top for that full contraction. Straight back down. Give me one more of those, Chels, please. Beautiful control. Nice deep stretch in the hamstrings and squeeze. Love it. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so that was the barbell Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna show you um, one variation that I'm a big fan of. I do work it into my own programming and I do use it from time to time in my clients' programming. I'm gonna show you the dead stop variation of a Romanian barbell deadlift. So what you're gonna see me do is essentially the same thing, but I'm gonna come all the way down to the floor till the plates actually touch, but I'm gonna keep the tension in my hamstrings and my glutes and obviously my core. So the difference is, with any dead stop variation, I'm having to break inertia on every repetition. So in the variation that Chelsea showed you where she doesn't go all the way to the floor, there's always going to be some stored kinetic energy in the hamstring, very much like an elastic band. So with the dead stop variation, two things are happening. I'm over, I'm, I'm exaggerating the stretch, but I'm also creating a situation where I have to break inertia because the bar has come to rest on the floor. It's a great way to stimulate a little bit deeper uh, muscle fiber activation in the hamstring and overemphasize the stretch. It's not for everybody. If you don't have that ability to get all the way to the floor and still maintain good core activation in a neutral spine, don't feel compelled to do this. It's a little bit more advanced, but it is a fun way to make the hamstrings work a little bit harder, but walk before you run. Thanks for coming out. Okay, so next up we're gonna show you the dumbbell variation of the Romanian deadlift. Essentially, it's the same movement with very, very similar muscle activation through the hamstrings, but having the dumbbells gives you the freedom to let your hands kind of drift around in the front if that's a little bit more comfortable. Um, could certainly be more comfortable through, through the shoulder girdle. And also, um, 
depending on what your grip strength is like, some people just like the idea, especially if the load's gonna be heavy enough that you're using straps, it can be a lot more comfortable to just strap onto a couple of bells and let them sit against your thigh than be in this fixed forward position on a barbell. So, uh, Chelsea will show you the, the uh, demonstration. It's still break at the hips first. So the hips go back, bells go straight down, hips come through, we get that good contraction in the hamstring. Good. Give me maybe three more of those, Chels. Perfect. So the bells move just like a plumb line, straight down, straight up, constant tension in the hamstring. Neutral spine, core is active. Doesn't get better than that. Perfect. Thank you.